Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'll be giving you a few different tips for ways that you can use ChatGPT to help you to build your Shopify store. I'll be giving you some beginner-friendly tips for ways you can use ChatGPT to help you map out the layout of your store. And I'll also be showing you how to use ChatGPT to help you write some of your store's sales text and page content. You can follow this video if you're a beginner with Shopify. And also if you are still a newbie with Shopify and you haven't decided just yet which full term Shopify plan you would like to select. I have a way that you guys can get your first three months on Shopify for just $1. I'll put my Shopify sign up link in the description box below so that you can use your first three months on Shopify for just $1 before you commit to a long-term plan. Let's get straight into this video. The first tip for a way that you can use ChatGPT to help you to create your Shopify store, this will be to use ChatGPT to help you map out the layout of your website. You can use several prompts to ask ChatGPT for different sections that you can add to your website. And this includes the layout of your homepage and even your product pages and other pages within your website. I'll be showing you how to create your prompt so that you can ask ChatGPT for some different layout ideas and different sections that you can add to your website. Essentially, I'll be asking ChatGPT to generate the different homepage section ideas so that I can map out the layout of the website. I've asked it to create a Shopify website homepage and to include different sections that can help the website's conversion rate. And you can choose to be as detailed as you would like with your ChatGPT prompt. Even mentioning the type of brand that you have or the type of products that you sell can help ChatGPT to give you ideas that can fit your business better. And you can create a similar prompt like this if you would like to ask ChatGPT for different layout ideas for your product pages or other pages in your store. Then you can review ChatGPT's ideas. ChatGPT has given me 15 different section ideas that I can add to my Shopify store. So it's recommended that I can add a main banner like a video or an image slider, and that below that I can insert a featured collection to feature a few product collections. You don't have to follow their exact layout that they've recommended. You can choose which sections you would like to add and which ones that you feel you may not need for your website. I'll definitely be adding an email signup section along with a social media showcase section. Once you have an idea of the different sections you'll be adding to your website, you want to open Shopify to begin customizing your theme. Currently, I already have a theme created, so I'll be starting with a clean slate. You want to go on to customize your theme. This is currently my website and I'll begin adding different sections to start forming the homepage layout. One of the sections that ChatGBT recommended would be that I add either a video section or an image slider section. Then they mentioned that I can add text animations to the section along with a call to action button. To add a section to your website, either under the header section or above your footer, you want to click add section to template and this is where you'll be able to insert different sections to your website. And I'll be inserting a slideshow section to create a moving slideshow. And that's how I've added the image slider section. I'm gonna apply the auto rotate slides so that the slides will automatically rotate when a customer is on the website. I'm also gonna scroll down and remove this image banner section. And after you add all of your sections to the homepage to get the layout, you can then go in and customize each individual section. Then it's recommended that I insert a featured collections grid, basically to showcase different product collections on the homepage. To add this section right below the slider, I'm gonna click add section to template, and then I'll be inserting a collection list. This is the section on Shopify where you can feature multiple of your product collections. So for a quick example, you can increase the number of columns on desktop, and then I'm gonna duplicate one of these collections. Then when you click select, this is how you'll be able to select which product collection you would like to feature. Featuring your product collections is a great way to let new visitors on your website see exactly the different product collections and categories that your store offers. Also, if you guys like the layout and style of this website you see here, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of different Shopify theme templates designed for different types of businesses. These can help you to build your website and have a professional look and layout to display your products, services, and more without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. In case you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, the Shopify theme will arrive in a zip file format. And when you open Shopify, then click add theme, then upload a zip file, you'll have the option to upload that website theme straight into your store and you can publish it and begin editing it and adding your products. And my Shopify templates are template bundles, so they do include installation guides with instructions and screenshots to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And I have a wide variety of Shopify themes designed for beauty, makeup, and skincare businesses, clothing and accessory businesses. And I also have Shopify themes for dropshipping stores and coaching businesses. Most of my Shopify template bundles also include additional templates like web banner templates, logo templates, and more. 
If you're looking to save the time from having to design and lay out your website from scratch, you can grab one of my Shopify themes from my website, which I will link in the description box below. Then in case you would like to introduce your brand to your customers and let your customers know your brand mission, you can also include an about us section on your website. So I'll be adding a section that I can later customize into an about us section for the brand. Then back here on ChatGPT, one of the sections that they recommended that I can add is a why shop with us section. Basically a section where I can feature icons and different reasons why customers should shop with the brand. There's different ways that you can add a section like that. I'll be inserting a multi-column section. You can insert a collapsible content section so that you can list the different reasons why customers should shop with your brand. You can also insert an image with text or a multi-column section. I'll be inserting a multi-column. That way, for an example, I can click on one of the columns and I can fill in the text of the column with reasons why customers should choose this shop. And don't forget for these sections, you can customize the different elements and you can add or remove elements. And that's just a quick way that I've put together this trust building section. And you can repeat those steps to add multiple other sections to your Shopify store. Then once you're finished, you'll have the layout for your homepage and then you can begin customizing each individual section and adding your product photos. And in case you haven't added your logo to your website, you want to click theme settings, then logo. And this is where you can upload your brand's logo so that it will appear on the header section of your website. And next to desktop logo width, you can adjust the size of the logo. Next, you can begin customizing each section to complete your homepage design. And here is the finished website after I've customized it and added my pictures and custom elements. If you want an example of how your website will appear on a mobile device, you'll just wanna click this phone icon so that you can take a look at how your website can appear on a mobile device. Then for the next way that you can use ChatGPT to help you in setting up your Shopify store, this will be to use ChatGPT to help you write your product descriptions. You can ask ChatGPT to write sales text for your products, including your product descriptions, and you'll just wanna be sure to ask it all the different features and materials of your product that you would like ChatGPT to include in the description. I've opened ChatGPT and I'll be asking it to generate a product description. This is just an example prompt, but you'll wanna be sure to include as many details about your product as possible so that ChatGPT can generate a really detailed product description. Also, if you'd like them to include any shipping details or shop information or even shipping policies, you wanna be sure to let ChatGPT know that in the prompt so that they can include all of those details in the description. Then you can review the finished results. And also you can just ask ChatGPT if you'd like them to regenerate the description. Here is the product description that it has generated for the example product. Next, I'm going to select the text from this description. Then you'll want to open Shopify and then you're gonna open your products page. This is the page where you'll be able to open existing products to customize them. And you'll also be able to create brand new products. I'll be opening an example product and once you open your product, under description is where you can begin listing the details about the product or pasting in that description that ChatGPT has created. So I'm gonna paste in that description and it's that easy to use ChatGPT to generate a product description for your item so that you can save the time. Shopify gives you a variety of editing options for how you can adjust and edit your product description and customize your product description. So for an example, you can choose to select text. You can increase the size of text that you would like to be bold and that you would like to stand out in your description. You can also choose to put the text in bold, italic, and you can also underline the text. If you need to, you can select this icon here and this will allow you to be able to change the text color. And you can also set a background color for the text for in case you would like to highlight it. When you click this icon, you'll be able to realign the text and also in case you would like to link the text to another page in your store, you'll just want to select the text, then click the insert link icon, and this will allow you to be able to link that text to another page within your website. And you can select if you would like that link to open up either in the same window or in a new window. When you click this insert image icon, you'll be able to upload pictures throughout your product description. And you can choose if you would like to insert pictures showing your product at different angles. You can also choose to insert videos throughout your description and you'll have additional customization options. And once you're finished, I'm going to click save to save those new edits that I just made to the product. And then you can go on to customize your website. To open that product, you can open your catalog page and find your product there. Or you can also search for your product in the search bar of your website. And then you should see those changes applied to the description box of that product. And don't forget, you can view an example of how your product page will appear on a mobile device by clicking this phone icon 
so that you can take a look at a demo of your product page. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching.